Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I grill up some jerk style pork chops. We're gonna get them in a marinade, then get some jerk seasoning on the outside, get them over a hot fire, glaze the sauce on at the end. It's gonna be all those flavors of the Caribbean right there in those pork chops. You know I'm gonna love it, it's gonna be a great dinner. Let's get to cooking. So I'm starting with some thin cut pork chops. And these are just pork chops from the grocery store. You can see it's just like the kind your mama used to fry up. I got them in a quick marinade. Let them soak for about an hour smothered in those spices, the green onion, the habanero. Now I'm gonna get them out of the marinade, put them on a platter here, and I'm gonna season them up, get them ready for the grill. I'm just gonna get a little extra jerk seasoning on these chops after they come out of the marinade. You could use any kind of jerk you want. I got that jamming jerk right there. Y'all know it's good. I'm just gonna move them around. We'll get these other chops out of the marinade. Take your time. Season them with a little bit of that jamming jerk. You gotta flip them over. Get the backside as well. I don't want that Jamaican flavor to come through. It's got the heat, it's got the spice, it's got a little sweet, little nutmeg, little cinnamon, little clove, round it all out. We're ready for the grill. So for this cook, I'm setting up my Weber with my Gabby Grill Santa Maria attachment. I'm getting a couple chimneys of lump charcoal going. Got the Royal Oak in there, some tumbleweeds getting good and hot. Dump both of those in the Weber, and then I'm gonna fill it back up with some more additional Royal Oak lump charcoal. It's gonna give me a hot bed of coals. I'm gonna spray the grate on the Gabby's Grill, set it right on top, let the grate come up to temp, and then right before we put these chops on, I'm gonna throw some smoker wood on there. I've got a couple sticks of post oak. It's gonna give me some nice smoke. Those chops are gonna soak up that wood as they cook. All right, so. I'm ready to put these chops right on the grate here. It's sizzling hot. Now I can lower it down to the fire. We're gonna get a sear on them at first. And the cool thing about having this Santa Maria attachment for the Weber is that you can lower it right down to it. You can adjust it to wherever you want them. That looks good to me right there. We'll just kind of eyeball them. You could cook this recipe on any grill. You just wanna set it up for a two zone fire. And with this Gabby Grills, we can get the chops away from the heat. I can raise it up all the way. So it kind of creates that indirect zone. Let's see what they're looking like. Oh yeah. Starting to get some color on them. It's been a real quick cook. I mean, with thin chops like this, it's all about the flavor and the meat. And I just wanna flip them every two or three minutes. We're just letting them cook, kind of develop that sear. This is backyard grilling at its finest. When I mean, we got hot open fire, We've got the meat dripping, sizzling down over the coals. A little bit of wood for some smoke. Reminds me of being on the beach. It smells awesome. Look how that fat starts to char up a little bit. Man, you don't think this is gonna be good? Something wrong with you, ain't it? Now, as they cook and char, I'm just steady flipping them. And what I wanna do is just start rolling it up away from the heat. This will start slowing them down a little bit. Let them cook in that zone for a little while. I'm just moving them around, flipping and turning, flipping and turning. But this is what I like to see, that fat sizzling on the edges, charring up. That's where the flavor is. And I'm about to go up one more notch and get ready to start glazing. It's about where I want it. Got some sear on them, got some color on them. Now we're gonna work on this sauce. So these chops have been on about seven or eight minutes, just flipping them back and forth. And now I've whipped up a jerk sauce. It's got a little ketchup, a little pineapple juice, brown sugar, of course some of the jam and jerk seasoning, but I've also got some green onion, some more habanero or scotch bonnet in it. All those flavors are gonna combine to make kind of a sweet and spicy glaze on the outside of these chops. So I sauced one side, we're just gonna give them a flip. Gotta get the backside sauced as well. And we're gonna keep repeating this process. These chops are gonna be about a total 12, 14 minute cook, something like that. It's all it's gonna take. We'll repeat this process a couple times. Really get some layers of jerk flavor going on the outside. <whistles> Hot Bubba, I like it. I like it. Tell you what, man, some fine looking jerk pork. Let's take them back down just a little bit. Let some of that sauce glaze. Man, it smells incredible, I'm telling you. All those flavors caramelizing on the outside. That fat sizzling. You see the green onions, the peppers, the jerk seasoning. And all you have to do is keep flipping these chops, just making sure they're not gonna burn. And you can see they're starting to char up, that sauce is caramelizing. It's just a matter of love and a little bit of time. I'm just layering a little more, that jerk sauce right on top. Keep letting it caramelize. That's the key. These look so good, I can't wait to try one. You gotta flip them over, let that sauce get on that hot grate right over that fire. We are almost there. A little more sauce, a couple more turns, and it's gonna be red stripe time. 
I'm calling these chops. It's been about 14 minutes. Just look at how this Gabby grill is attached with on this weather. It's charred them. You've got that fat. It's crunchy. It's sizzling still. The sauce is glazed on top, kind of charred on. I mean, that's just hard to duplicate without that a Santa Maria style attachment. Check that out. That's what I call platter jerk style chops. So I've got the chops piled up here on the board. There's really no reason to give them rest. How I'm going to finish them up is just with a little bit of garnish. Some of those green scallions, green onions, finely sliced. It just makes them pop a little bit. You can serve these with rice. The traditional Jamaican way would be with rice and peas, or it's really like a bean. I'm going to just eat them straight chops today. But so real quick, before I try one of these chops, let me tell you how easy this recipe was. I started with the thin cut pack of pork chops. We got it in that spicy, fresh marinade that we made with those citrus notes. Soaked them for about an hour. And then I got the Weber grill fired up with lump charcoal. Got it raging hot and put my Santa Maria attachment right on top. And then we charred the chops just flipping them every couple minutes moving them around that was the whole key to it if you're doing it with another type grill just set it up for indirect cooking and do the exact same thing then we put that sweet and spicy jerk glaze over the top charred it caramelized it on and now they're ready to eat and i can't wait to try one so i'm going to get one off here and I like the part that's got the fat it's got caramelized sauce all that flavor in it mm. Mm, fantastic, spicy. You get all that flavor in that one bite from the sauce, from the spicy peppers, from the onion. The sweetness of it goes with the caramelized flavors on the meat. The pork comes through, but it's really all about that Caribbean flavor. Mm, that's fantastic. And the little charred pieces, those are absolutely the best bites on these chops. Mm, that reminds me of the islands right there. Love it. Spicy. We can taste the peppers in it, but it doesn't blow you down. Mm. Wow. I'm going to eat this whole chop. It's not very big. It's just a thin chop, right? Perfectly done all the way through. Still juicy, but I love the char flavor that you get from cooking over that hot lump coal. And it's a fun cook too. When we're cooking over that live fire, we're flipping those coals. You can feel that heat coming off of it, charring that salsa, moving it around. Hey, that's exciting to me. Thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And Shell and I do a podcast every Friday where we talk about this recipe, all kinds of other fun and delicious stuff. We'll see y'all next time. Mm. I'm going to finish this one while you taking pictures, woman. Cuz. <laughs> you finish them pictures, woman. I'm going to eat these chops. <laughs>